Good day once again everyone and you are welcome to Mathematics Solution Center. Today we are going to be looking at a question that says three consecutive terms of a geometric progression are giving us n minus 2, n and n plus 3. Find the common ratio. Solution, these are the terms n minus 2, n and n plus 3. We want to find the common ratio. If these terms are consecutive terms, Common ratio is given by a term divided by the term before it. Take note of that. Common ratio is equal to n plus 3 divided by n. And it is also equal to n over n minus 2, provided this is a geometric progression. In that case, it means n plus 3 over n is equal to n over n minus 2. We can cross multiply. Therefore, we have n squared is equal to n plus 3 n minus 2. Let's open the bracket. We have n squared is equal to n into bracket n minus 2 plus 3 into bracket n minus 2. Therefore, we are going to have n squared is equal to n squared minus 2n plus 3n minus 6. Take this n squared to the other side. n squared minus n squared is equal to minus 2n plus 3n minus 6. This and this we cancel. We are left with 0 here is equal to minus 2n plus 3n is actually n minus 6. Therefore, n is equal to 0 plus 6. And it means n is equal to 6. But we are to find the common ratio. And don't forget that our common ratio is equal to n over n minus 2. I'm using this particular expression. And we can as well use this to find the value of the common ratio. Because the common ratio is equal to both of them. My n is equal to 6, therefore I have 6 over 6 minus 2. Common ratio is equal to 6 over 4. This is the same thing as 3 over 2. The common ratio is 3 over 2. Let's check the options. Option D is the correct answer. We have come to the end of this tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching. If you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel, kindly click the subscription button now, like this video, and also share it. And don't forget to put on the notification button. Thanks, and remain blessed.